And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create this positive negative shape let's mark logo design in Adobe Illustrator. What we need? On the view, I've got the smart guides only snap to point activated. I use a black fill. For now no stroke color. Use the type tool. Type in some letters. I use a thick font which is Casa Ultra FLF. But obviously it works with every font that you want to use. Right click, create outlines and then ungroup it. So now we've got three individual shapes. The next step, let's connect these letters. I hold control and connect the X to the F. You need to adjust it later on anyway. You can also use the arrow keys to the right side in this example. Now we'll create rect angles. Let me make them blue. I will start with the X first. Just drag it from one anchor point to the other. Adjust it. When you've got what you want, just reposition the S and the F. Use the selection tool, hold Alt and drag copies out of direct angles for the remaining two letters and we need to adjust them further. You can see the S is a little bit too big. It depends on the font that you're using. So I shift click on all of the three rectangles and I adjust that. Then right click, arrange and send them all to back. The next step is to make the S, the X and the middle rectangle white and the F is going to be blue. Now I need to readjust the size of the F. It's fine, but I need to readjust the position with the arrow keys. Alright, the F is done. I need to readjust the size of the X and make it a little bit bigger than the rectangle. Same goes for the S letter. Now select it all and use the shape builder tool to get rid of the negative shapes. Just hold alt, you've got a minus sign below your cursor and you can get rid of shapes. All right, that looks fine. Let us connect all of the blue shapes. If you've got a font that creates a little bit of a problem on the S, like here, you can keep it if you like the result. Or you can simply use the line segment tool to get that fixed. Let me show you how you could do it. Just go to the anchor points, then drag it downwards holding Shift and Alt at the same time. Now you've got a dividing line and we can use the shape builder tool again. Then delete the line. So you could do that if you wanted to. I didn't like it, so I press Ctrl Z until I've arrived at this initial position. And this is how you can create this positive and negative shape. Let's mark logo in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.